Chef It Up is supported by Gino. Indomene tastes great. Tampico and Free the Youth. Another week, another episode, another recipe right here on Chef It Up. It's a brand new episode. My name is Olale Salvador, your chief chef, your lead chef, how I want to call it. This is Chef It Up, brought to you by 3 Music, brought to you by Gino Tomato Mix, brought to you by Indomie, brought to you by Tampico, and of course, put together nicely by my people at Free The Youth. So today, as usual, we have a special guest in the studio with us who's going to help us, you know, get into the mystery bowl, tell us what is going to be cooking uh, with us all for us today when we come back from the break i introduce to you a man who has done so great great good things for himself as an actor you don't want to miss this i'll be right back wait a minute yo <laughs> this is my nephew whoa this place has changed yo Yo, Adra, look at you all grown up, yo. Some things never change, like Gino's quality recipe. That gives my food that rich color, unique natural taste every time. Smells good, yo. Hey, sister. We did what Pupun Sanu and Kasa, just like I remember. Uncle Bo, Uncle Bo, hurry up and let's open the suitcase. Ajua, chai, ne me shrink quite fast. Best jollof I've ever eaten. Wow, this is real jollof, mommy. Gino dear, and my Adriana yet the Ankasa. Say Gino dear, fear ni fear. It's delicious, yo! This advert is FDA approved. Every child is so unique. You like no other. Outstanding in every way. It's me like no other. So anytime you walk and play. You like no other. You are special like Indomie. It's me like no other. Did you know that every child on the planet has their own unique fingerprint like no other? You like no other. I can play the drums. I'm talented. It's me like no other. I can sing. I can dance. You like no other. As well has their own unique talents and abilities. I can cook, I can paint. You like no other. In the mirror, in the mirror, you like no other. So every day, in whatever you do, remember you are special in your own way, like no other. Thank you, Mom, for letting me know I'm special and for making me my special Indomie. Thank you, Mommy. Introduce it. Indomie Beef Flavor. Buy now. This effort is FDA approved. Yes. My. Tampico. New look, new bottle, same irresistible taste. And now introducing Tampico Multifruta, available in your nearest shop. This ad has been vetted and approved by the FDA. Welcome back from the break. You're still watching Chef It Up right here on 3 Music TV. And it's time for me to introduce my guest. Um, Elia, I did say he was an actor, but he has other things that he, you know, he does for himself. You know, just, just trying to find out whether he would tell us some of the things he's been doing. James Gardner is in the studio, ladies and gentlemen. In fact, is in the kitchen. Allow me to invite him into the kitchen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's up, <laughs> What's up sir? Oh, Thank right. you so much, man. Yeah, please. Where do I stay? Yeah? Yes, please. This nice. is this is all yours. Okay. This is all yours. Yes, 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 yes. 
All right. Yeah, so, done. James Ghana is in the kitchen with me. James, thank you so much for coming. Um, it, so, as usual, the, the, the drill is very simple. Mm -hmm. In this bowl, we have all the recipes in there. Okay. Some people have been very lucky. Others, I'm not too sure. Okay. Hopefully, there's luck on your side. Okay. Um, so, just pick something for me, yeah? Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, let's see what James got. Hopefully, it's a very simple recipe. Vegetable rice and beef sauce. Let us look at the ingredients on the screen right. and see what we need to make this happen. James, you want to help us? Uh, okay. So um, with this, we're going to need, uh, first of all, canned cooking oil, uh, beef, some onions, garlic, ginger, mm. Gino 3-in-1 mix, mm. green and red bo uh, bell pepper, mm -hmm. rice, beef seasoning, mm -hmm. Gino curry, Gino max cube, mm. uh, blended scotch, bonnet pepper, mm -hmm. Onions, tomatoes, and ginger, carrots, peas, paprika, white pepper. This is going to be like some really, you know, spicy, my spicy God, sauce. Eggs, God. parsley, rosemary, bell pepper, and then salt. Wow. Yeah. 21 lineup. This is a 21 man lineup. <laughs> like more than Black Stars. More than Black Stars. Wicked. <laughs> That's for vegetable rice and beef sauce. Wicked. We are about to get into the business. Uh, Shave it up, it. James. Yeah. The kitchen is all yours. Okay. You know, uh, there's Gino tomato mix here. Indomie right. is also here just in case you're feeling, you know, yeah. experimental and want to do some things. I got your curry spice and stuff nah, here. There are some spices too. here as well. I'm, I'm not in my Dexter element, so yeah, I'll leave the experiments. No, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so first things first, we're going to bring out our saucepans. Yeah. You know what? I used to cook around the world and... Uh, you know, I used to cook for Putin. Around the world. Yeah. I, you know, I actually cook for Putin. You know. Mas oh my goodness. Yeah. Imagine cooking for the Russian president. You leave your president for here. You leave Ronaldo. Go cook for Putin. My president has seen no need in me. Just like he hasn't seen any. But Putin did, yeah? Yeah, Putin did. He called you? Putin called me on WhatsApp. <laughs> he said, son, come about for my first. Come on, just come around. You know what I cook for him? Cook what did you cook for him? red. <laughs> I could beans for him. I could beans for Putin. Uh, our beef is going is going into the bowl. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, Let we're me gonna add something. a little bit of water. Oh, oh, oil. Uh, okay, here you go. All right. Mm. Okay, now there's a frying pan, no? Yeah, there is. Okay. So I'm just gonna put the small oil here. Um, what's the rice? Oh, the rice is there. Okay. Okay. So, James. Yeah. Talk to me. I mean. The last time I heard your name doing the rounds on Ghana media, apart from your movies, was on the red carpet of VGMAs. Oh, right. Amazing night. Amazing night, wasn't it? Amazing. <laughs> what was going on, brother? Talk to me. Well, on... On, on, on that night. There was nothing. People said like, you what, run what, out of adjectives, you run out of whatever, whatever, you just find all no, the things. No, no, it wasn't even that. You know how... That was the first thing, time doing the That was the first time on the red That was my carpet. very first time on the red carpet. That, right. was my that was my first time hosting a live red carpet. I got you. I got you. Everything is in short, so you're good. So this is for the rice? This is for the rice. Why did the oil go in first? Okay. Because I'm about... It's stir fry. This is how Putin likes yeah, it. Yeah. So, so, so yeah, we'll leave it. We'll leave like, it. Yeah. You know, Putin does not eat fully okay. cooked meals because Fantastic. he doesn't know who his ops is going to be. Yeah. I see. Yeah. Okay. So you can't poison him. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I think I think you should have cleaned the water in the bowl a little bit. <laughs> hey, no, no, no. Hey, no, no, no. Shoot! I got you. I got you. Don't worry. <laughs> Ujimi, Ujimi, Ujimi. Hey. I got you, boy. Are you all right? Okay. We are we're, we're still rolling, right? Because I want them to see this. We are still rolling, right? No, come on, man. Fantastic. You know, like I said, <laughs> I know my viewers are a bit worried. Don't worry. I mean, this is what we used to be like in the war front. You, know, you don't have time to be doing a lot of things. <laughs> that's huh. nice, that's nice. I mean, yes. uh, so... About the video, I mean, it was it was a nice experience. Mm -hmm. Um, that was my first time hosting any live show whatsoever. That was your first time. My very first time, a live show. But on you have the, been on, on screen for time. But I've done it for the red carpet for VGMA, I mean, but not the actual show. Mm. You know, so I think I'm going to pass this to you. So you tell me amount of rice you want to. Yeah, put. but then I didn't put the water in there, so 
Trigger you know, what I mean? Do you like rinsing your rice first? Yes, I rinse my like, rice. Rinse your rice. I actually let my oil go in last. So your technique is quite different, but it's okay. I, I can put it. I can put it. So what was it like having to receive the call and say, okay, James, it was, do... it was amazing. Ah, there you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it was, it was. I had, I had fun, you know. Mm. Um, I was like, okay. So you actually I did mean, a good job on, on the red carpet. Well, it's just you. an amazing. Yeah. Took some part of the it's okay. conversation. Can, can we turn it? this down a little bit? Yeah, I don't sure. know how to. You could just. So it's on two now. Okay, so I think cool. it's okay. Ooh. Yeah. I love the smell of beef. Look at that. Mm. My God. <laughs> My God is. All right. Oh. So what would you say, like, you were properly outdoored as James Gardner, the actor? Like, you transitioned your brand from being an owner personality to a media personality to be I, uh, to be an actor. I don't. Know, where's that oil? Oh, just a little bit. Yeah, just a uh, I don't know. Um, I'll say maybe 2012 ish. 2012. Wow. I think that's so. That's like that's like almost a decade now. Yeah, because because I started I started acting I think in 2010. Wow. Yeah. What was the What was your first appearance? You remember? In the film. In the film. Yeah, that was with Rufi. Rufi was the very first oh, person that I worked with. Right. While your ladders and Yeah, all they're right that. here. They're right here. Okay, perfect. Wow, okay. Okay, was it so like, was a, like a lead, like a lead like, role or like a supporting role? No, my very first role was like a, a supporting role. Okay. But my second role ever in my career was um, for a lead role. Okay, okay. So that was very This was still in Ghana, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This okay. was still, I, I, I didn't go to Nigeria until I think 2014, 15, there about, that was with Majid. Mm. Man, <laughs> you're making memories, I, I think I saw the soul. Yeah, that's what is right there. Wait, on the road with Majid. Bro, it was me, Majid, Messi Johnson, and a couple of people, I, I've forgotten who and who, but we went to film in Enugu. In Nigeria? Bro, I don't want to talk about it, but you know, it's good to have an experience like that. Wow. So, mm. it goes it goes into my portfolio. <laughs> yeah, it goes just, into my portfolio. Yeah, just a little bit. Just, you're right. Are you okay with the beach? Yeah, just a looking. little bit. Mm, okay. You're right. So it's been on for like, what, 15 minutes? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think we've, we've done like 12 minutes, so we... Yeah. We're looking good so far. Yeah, no bad at all. So Enugu was like your first time in Nigeria. In Nigeria. And what movie was this? my very first time. I don't remember. <laughs> but let me tell you a story. It was so funny. Talk to me. You know, I'm used to like f finishing the film. Yeah. And then what's the... Yeah. Finishing the film yeah. and then um, going for an actual like photo shoot. You know, right, like you, right. there's a costume yeah, and everything. Yeah. But in Enugu, it doesn't work like that, bro. <laughs> so... In the middle of the scene, one guy comes to me holding a camera and then he's like, <clears throat> Oyana. Majid, Majid at the time was, was, Majid, yeah, he, was Majid, Majid. he was in Nigeria yeah. proper, so he knows the, the inside yes, out. But I, I, I couldn't reach out to him because he was far. I wanted to ask him, bro, what do What's I do? Because the language the guy was also speaking, I don't really understand. And the guy looked very serious. That's the photo shoot we've already started. And it's not like I'm acting like, you know, pulling like a nice boy or pulling ah, like a sweet boy. They they want, yeah, they want reaction like, hey, hey, I'm going to slap you, you know, <laughs> stuff like that. And if you watch the posters at the time from Nigeria, yeah, it was, it was always, always like action. that. Someone holding someone's neck or someone hitting someone. Thank you goodness. don't do this. They don't care about that. They don't that. have time for that. So the guy said, bro, you're delaying me. Another guy, they come. So the guy came with a cutlass. He came with a cutlass. And that, that's how I understood the whole thing. He was like, hey, if I slap you now. And then. And then. Cut, cut, cut. <laughs> <laughs> sharp, sharp. Bro, there's no time. There's no time. No, 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 do you like your oil small or deep? No, 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 not too much. Not too much. Yeah, so not too just much. Just tell me if it's okay. Yeah. Oh, come on, put it in now. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Right, okay, right. Let's see. We're going to take a so. break. Um, James Garner is in the kitchen as usual, as you can see, um, live and colored. Look, we don't just know how to act, or <laughs> we know how to cook. <laughs> Shove it up. We'll be right back. <laughs> This place has changed, yo! I can't 
Yo, Adra, look at you all grown up, yo. Some things never change, like Gino's quality recipe that gives my food that rich color, unique natural taste every time. Smells good, yo. Hey, sister, we did what Pupun San and Kasa, just like I remember. Ajua, chai, ne me shrink coin pa. Best jollof I've ever eaten. Wow, this is real jollof, mommy. Gino dear, am I drani yet de ankasa? Say Gino dear, fie ni fie. It's delicious, yo! This advert is FDA approved. Yes. My. Tampico. New look, new bottle, same irresistible taste. And now introducing Tampico Multifruta, available in your nearest shop. This ad has been vetted and approved by the FDA. Welcome back from the break. You're still watching Shave It Up right here on 3 Music TV. The name is Olele Salvador. And of course, I have been shaving up with the man James Gardner. Today yes, he sir. is Chef Gardner. <laughs> a chef and a gardener. As I'm saying, yeah, all the food that we've been cooking right here is sourced from the raw, you know, you know it's, a, it's a gardener as well, right? Yes, man. I don't, I don't, I know, I don't, I don't do that. You, 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 you no. don't. <laughs> I only got the name for my dad, and that's it. <laughs> what, was your dad into media as well? Was no, 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 no. Okay. My dad was more into the mining. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay, and then mommy. Mommy, mommy is a nurse slash doctor. All of so that. You're the only one who entered into the creative space. Yeah, I, I actually started with radio, you know. Yeah. Yeah, um, I used to work with multimedia. Right. That was for national service. National service. Yeah. But you were not on TV. No, I was not. Oh, you're not radio. I mean, you were. No, so later I, I got on radio. Right. I was working with Sadiq. We were, we were all at uh, multimedia for like maybe two years. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So, so going through the mail and learning your way around. Yeah. The we, we, so we, we did some. We did like a topsy turvy. Okay. Where you know, um, they toggle the presenters around. Right, I think right. I was one out of two of the national service personnel who got Ooh. the chance to to come out. Yeah. To, wow. to, to do something on air. And that's how the whole thing started. Sure. You know, what is it about acting that keeps you going? I mean, from your first audition to where you are now, I'm sure you've had some, like, you know, bad days or sets, forgetting your lines. So I'm, I'm, I'm a very adventurous person. I, I, I like to take on, you know, things that are challenging. Mm. Mm. So mm. when I started acting and I realized that I was actually good at it, mm. that's what kept me going. Because, you know, when you're doing something and you're getting um, um, correct feedback, from the people who you know you're working with, yeah, that's that's the energy you need. Like right. that's that's all the energy you need. You know, it looks very posh. You know, yeah, you read volumes of scripts, yeah. <laughs> eighty to hundred pages. But bro, yeah. we've seen, like you said, Akabeneza, we've yeah. seen Jacko, we've seen Lewin, and you've had a opportunity to share a set with two of them. Yeah, what did you see? I mean, you, you know, let's 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 be fair. Yeah. I I don't I don't think that. Um, when it comes to like very lengthy dialogues, uh, that's okay. Don't worry, don't worry. We got you. We got you. It's okay. See if I got the. Yeah, yeah, we got you. Don't worry. It's okay. It's okay. I don't. I don't think like when it comes to like very lengthy dialogues mm, and stuff mm, like that. Mm, 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 mm. That's when you like to, you know, do the reading and all that, yeah. right? Our rice is looking. Do you want to check on the rice and see if it's the way you yeah. want it? Some people like their rice. Um, Chris, soft. Soft. Some people also like it. You know, hard. I think in between is just fine. It's just okay yeah. for you, know. Okay. Like a little ladle. Yeah, I'm just gonna reduce it a bit. Yeah. Okay, look at the good. time where you reduce it. I you think reduce it. Bit. Okay, so let me give it about three. It's almost cooked, actually. It's almost so. cooked, right? Yeah. Do you like the kanzo? When I'm home, yeah. <laughs> Brandon, <laughs> Brandon is very important. Bro, I with chocolate kanzo for time. But uh, <laughs> you can dilute the brand. 
<laughs> All right. Now, James, you, you're not only into acting. Yeah. You know, I mean, you have other enterprises that, you know, um, people may not know you for, yeah. which is very interesting because obviously as a businessman, whilst you are, whilst you are growing, you want to, you know, diversify and look into other businesses. So mm -hmm. let's talk about the business that people think they know, but they don't know. Okay. Nice life. Yeah, Just so um, I'm, I'm, I believe Mali has already been on the show. Yes, he has. He yeah. has. He has. He was he's, on Culture Day the last time yeah. he talked about it. And oh, guys, if you guess you are wondering, um, James's um, club, co-owned by Mali as well, yeah. um, invited us for a very fantastic, fantastic time. <laughs> my oh my! You know, I don't, I don't actually club, right? That was my first time. I mean, I don't know, but why don't you though? Uh, why are you, why are you missing out? I don't know. Like I don't know. Maybe it's just how you know. I've always been the you know, indoor person, like, being okay. you know, if not for the work that would allow me to go out, yeah. I'm always indoors, you know, I get myself like FIFA, I'm playing FIFA, get some good, you know, popcorn or good, you know, Gary Sookins and I'm good. Like, okay. my life is very simple, you know. My life. But when I came to the club, yeah. oh boy. <laughs> did you oh, like, did you like the experience? My pastor is watching. <laughs> <laughs> You go talk to me. Oh, bro, 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 bro. My eyes were open. <laughs> I said, wow. <laughs> hey, Ghana. You see, every time I cry hard, I cry hard. But, but before this fall, they fall there. This is cry at night. Yeah. You know, the cry not really hard like that. You know, really <laughs> hard small, like that. Yeah. small. Yeah. Small. Now, Molly has talked about, you know, you know why venture the bit. But for you, as, as a co-owner, as a shareholder, yeah. what, what has also been your, you know, motivation behind that? Um, what did you see the, the nice where's the oil? Market? I just want to adjust a little bit. What do you want? The oil. The oil. You want more? Yeah. So, um, for me, because, you know, for most of the time, mm. I'm on set working. Okay. I usually like to, you know, have my own type of fun right. when I'm done working. Right. So, right. the nightlife is not something that I'm just venturing to. I like to party when I get the chance. Right. Yeah. And I'm not the type of person who will just go and stand in one corner and be acting or be doing that. No, I, just I like to party and go hard. Hard. Yeah. Right. So how do you like your woman, bro? I ask you the same question. He said he likes. How do I like my woman? Yes. Kitty said he likes his big. I don't know what that means. He likes he likes them big. Yes, big. Like oh, just big, big. Yeah, brown. <laughs> oh, you. Oh, I'm. Uh, I don't really think I have a spec, you know. Yeah, yeah. Like when it comes guy, to complexion. Boobs guy. Ass guy, boobs guy, a horn hole guy. Charlie everything. Chimlanga, Akiti. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm not more. I don't really, I don't really discriminate. No. I don't want to use the word discriminate. No, you ain't discriminate. That's your preference, bro. Yeah, but I think, I, I don't swim more to like the big, to the big, nah, to the big side. No, much, that's too much tax. No, no, no. It's, it's still pretty. You, you know, like I, the, I still see them and I appreciate like them from, from tax. afar. The Obolo tax. <laughs> 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 right, right. Yeah, so it's like bit one hole, you know. Yeah, yeah. kind of. Complexion wise, I, 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 I don't think I have a preference. Would you ever date a white woman? Yeah, sure. If you have a connection, why not? I've dated a white, a white lady. Before, really? How, yeah, what was the yeah. experience like? I mean, you dated Ghanaian woman, I believe, and then dating a white woman. What's, what, what is it there that people are missing out on? I mean, it's the same thing. I, I don't think I can use one person to, to describe, to describe thing, all yeah. of it. But with, with, with her, I, I think she's more like understanding. Okay. Yeah, because maybe because of where she's coming from. Because I can see that. of your work. On my work. Mm. Everything. You know, like mm. Mm. just maybe reason why maybe I called late or that like they're more accommodating and understanding. Right. And, so you understand the late nights, yeah. um, coming home late nights and yeah. staying out for longer hours. Yeah. But I'm not Ghanaian woman. Not, not all of them. <laughs> some have been who are very understanding. So some have been with who are very understanding, mm -hmm. but it's it's not it's cool. Right, right, so, right, right. So I just I just want to touch on the play play. Um, yes, 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 let's talk about play. Yes, so play. um, the thing is, mm. I wanted to do something that I enjoy doing that will make me feel like I'm working, so that having fun is still making money. Exactly. Wow. So. Um, we're filming in Lagos with Charles Play. Okay. He's, you know, one of the kings of nightlife in Nigeria. Mm. Not only in Abuja or Lagos alone. He's like very well invested in it. So mm. I ran the idea by him and here we are today. Wow. With, with everybody on so board. So Playground is like a satellite branch, sort of. <laughs> Although it's owned by Ghanaians, it's just like a, an extension of 
Charles will play. Yeah, so there's there's play Abuja. Okay. To do. But one would think that, you know, part of work is also what you do as an actor. Mm -hmm. Why not invest into like a film academy? You know, perhaps create like a establish like a, a school. Or a class I mean or I mean I mean I, I understand you, yeah. but I don't think everyone has the capability to do things like that. I don't think that that's my strong It's not your grace. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think I don't think that's that's like my that's where my strength really is. So what did you just put in there? This was the blended scotch bonnet pepper oh, with tomatoes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, gotcha. This all is right. where we're going to start the whole thing and throw in all the spices and all sharp, of that. So, sharp, sharp, sharp. We, yeah. we are almost there, guys. We're, we're almost, almost there. there. We're almost this there. This is off now, right? Well, it has oh, to be. man, look at the <laughs> beauty. <laughs> look at that. Looking very beautiful. Do you like how it's looking? Oh, looking very beautiful, brother. Nice. Very, very beautiful. What's the thing? What's the thing? I leave a brother for a minute and he's, <laughs> you know, doing catch up with my kitchen. Bro, well, welcome back from the break. And um, yeah, vegetable rice <laughs> with uh, beef sauce. Beef sauce, definitely. Bro, wh where did you get this skills from? <laughs> I'm actually impressed. I mean, I like I like to try my hands on different things when I have the, the, the time. So and You haven't cooked in a while. In a long while, bro. And this in is you not cooking in a while. Yeah, yeah. Man. My rice is falling apart. It's falling it's apart. Okay, okay yeah. it's falling apart. All right. So, um, James, thank you so much for joining us. It's been a pleasure welcome, having a conversation with you. And I'm definitely sure we'll catch up at Play. Guys, do well to check out Play Ghana. Yep. It's a fantastic place. You want to check out that place. But I'll let James do the marketing himself yeah. since he's here. Tell us where we can find your other yeah. businesses, especially Play. And, of course, where to catch your social media. Yeah. Especially Play. Especially it has play. to be Play. It has all to be right? Play. Um, 15 Osu Lane, it's on the same street as Le Majalan Hotel. All right, you I can't miss you, it. I think you want to break it down a bit. Like, is it on the Laboni Road? Okay, so it's no, it's not... it's around Laboni Junction. Thank you very much. Yeah, just put it on your Google map, put in Play Club Ghana. <laughs> it will bring you directly. <laughs> La Le Majelan. Le it's Majelan. a restaurant. I think, yeah, I, I think it's, I don't know if it's a hotel, but I, I know it, I know Le it Majelan. as a restaurant. Yeah, so it's like I just sent Le Majelan. Mm. It's just a junction that separates Le Majelan and Play Club. Yeah. So make sure you come check it out. We're open every weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Boss. All right, so just come to us, have a good time. I'll be there myself. Yes. Don't forget to check out Play Ghana. Yeah. That's where you'd often catch um, um, James when he's in town. Yeah. But of course, if you're not going to catch him at Play Ghana, you can catch him on Netflix and Amazon Prime doing his bits there. Marley Gabba is going to be there Marley as, well. as yeah. well. Yeah, so those of you who have been crashing on Marley. Ah, bro, <laughs> Marley's married. That's with you. Yeah. Well, what's happening? You, you get sister. Oh, If I you mean, don't have a sister, let's not have this conversation. You, oh, okay. Okay. We'll be back after the break. <laughs> <laughs> Some things never change, like Gino's quality recipe that gives my food that rich color, unique natural taste every time. Smells good, yo. Hey, sister, we did what Ponsa no and Casa, just like I remember. Best jollof I've ever eaten. Wow, this is real jollof, mommy. Gino dear, am I drowning at the Ankasa? Say, Gino dear, fear ni fear. It's delicious, yo! This advert is FDA approved. Every child is so unique. You like no other. Outstanding in every way. It's me like no other. 
So anytime you walk and play, you like no other. You are special like Indomie. It's me like no other. Did you know that every child on the planet has their own unique fingerprint like no other? As their own unique talents and abilities. I can cook, I can paint. You like no other. In the mirror, in the mirror. You like no other. So every day, in whatever you do, remember you are special in your own way, like no other. Thank you, Mom, for letting me know I'm special and for making me my special Indomie. Thank you, Mommy. Introducing Indomie Beef Flavor by now. This is FDA approved. All right, welcome back from that break. You're still watching Shove It Up right here on 3 Music TV. We have finally gotten to my favorite part of the show because my taste bud ninjas are here with me to taste James Gardner's uh, mm. vegetable rice mm. with beef sauce. Ladies, Hello. how y'all doing? Do I see you all I'm ready. All right. Ready. You ready? You ready? Yes. All right, you got three strikes, three 60 strikes. seconds. Let's go. Oh, dig in? Yes, dig in. Oh. Dig, 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 dig in. Great. I'm excited. You, you're taking three takes and... Uh... Three takes? Why did I take a fuck? <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Uh, right. That was... No, no, no. Okay. You need to push it down with a Tampico. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. You got one more, right? Mm -hmm. 15 seconds more. Mm. <laughs> 10 seconds more. Mm -hmm. Three. Come on. Two. One. That's it. Time's up. Okay. So, um, I was trying to give you three strikes. Time beat you to it. But let's start with you. What are you tasting in there? I am tasting tomato paste. Genome. Right? When you say you're tasting tomato paste, as in you are tasting the raw paste? I'm tasting... Oh, that's supposed to be sauce. That's supposed to be beef sauce. Beef sauce. Yes. With tomato paste. Right? It's right? tomato beef sauce. I think she's trying to say... It's just... For, for, the recipe is beef sauce with vegetable rice. Okay. So are you... Are you... Are you are, is it like you are identifying different elements of the sauce or you are tasting everything at once? I'm tasting that element. That element. Yes. She can tell it. I can it's taste Jesus. it. It's, okay. I can taste it. Okay. I can really taste it. Right. Mm -hmm. And the rice, the beef. The rice is really the nice. Well the the beef is very chewy. It's very chewy. I asked me that earlier what kind of meat it was because I was thinking maybe it was like a, a thigh. So you, you, you don't need to take another bite. It's okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> of the rice. Of the right. rice. But yeah, it was very chewy. So I was thinking that maybe it was like a different type of beef. Person. Oh, yeah. okay, I feel you. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. So I just was making sure that it was actual animal meat. <coughs> Lee, <laughs> what, what are you tasting? I'm sorry, but yeah, go ahead. Um, I love the rice, by right. the way. Vegetable I love the rice. vegetables in there. Rice is very soft. Um, I agree with... Your ninja. Yes, that the beef is a bit chewy. But is aside that, you, that, is it like you guys don't like your beef that way or what? You like I don't it? mind that truly. Okay. It's just that you were I was, I was under pressure, so I had to. Uh, chew it. But like, if I was at home eating this, I'd have taken yeah. my time right. to savor right. all the stuff that comes so with it. So the pressure it. added to the taste. Yes, that's sixty yes. seconds. Yeah, that's you know, and the three strikes. That's a lot of pressure. Out of ten, what are you giving it? Seven point five. Seven point five. Wow. Okay. I'll give it an eight. An eight. Mm -hmm. What is the two left? I think that I would probably be more tender with the meat. Like the I want like the meat more tender. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't really want spicy, but I feel like I don't really taste like any spice. If I have Topeka, Woman, you know what I mean? I can never <laughs> Woman. Woman. And you? I was going to say the same thing. Mm -hmm. And she's someone that doesn't like spice, but I love spice. I like pepe mm -hmm. and spice that I can feel it. in my ears <sighs> when I eat it. So I feel like that's what... It missed for me. I said that it's really good mm -hmm. for you know. You heard him, and I'm sure James, um, as you obviously did the viewing and the watching, 
you've heard the people who ate or tasted your meal and hopefully you can look forward to trying that at home as a viewer who is definitely impressed by the recipe until we come your way with another excited episode with another interesting recipe definitely we're looking to make simple recipes so that you can follow along the name is olele Savalo. i've been your head chef lee chef you can call me chef olele shout outs going out to gino tomato mix shout outs going out to indomie shout outs going out to tampico and of course free the youth for holding their brother down we'll be back same time next week bye for now